We explain how data donations to Wikidata work. This is Rachel. She works at a museum and loves her job because it means bringing knowledge to people. However, the museum is limited to one city. Shouldn't the knowledge collected in museums and archives be accessible to people all over the world? Rachel heard about Wikidata, a multilingual free knowledge base that can be read and edited by humans and machines alike. Cool! Wikidata contains millions of items, each representing different information – a person, a place, or a piece of art. The community of volunteers maintains this data, but the information has to be contributed. Like many other galleries, libraries, and archives, Rachel decides to contribute to Wikidata. First, she collects, cleans, and prepares the data for digitizing. Then, Rachel talks to the contributors of Wikidata that take care of data uploads. With their help, Rachel can now add her museum's treasure chest of data to Wikidata. Data shared in Wikidata becomes free knowledge released into the public domain. Others can query Wikidata and build upon it. Wikidata is used by the Wikimedia projects, such as Wikipedia, and also by many other websites and applications. Like a mobile app that can give information on pieces of art around the user. Because Rachel likes to see the different ways her uploaded data is used, she regularly checks the data and updates it if necessary. Rachel is happy. The knowledge that her museum offers is now available worldwide, in almost 300 languages, ready to be used by anyone. By donating data to Wikidata, she has helped to give more people more access to more knowledge. The museum is now much larger than the city it is located in. If you also want to learn how to contribute and donate your data, visit wmde.org slash data donation.